The Cedar Rapids Community School District wants to hear from you. District officials say they've been working on an equity plan, but they need the public's opinion on how successful it's been so far. Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller joins us with more on the initiative and how you can voice your thoughts on the program. Dora? Well, Scott, the district says they want to have an open discussion. That is the point and the goal of tomorrow's meeting. The superintendent wants to know how they can make sure every child is successful, no matter their race or socioeconomic background. There's always room for improvement, and the Cedar Rapids Community School District is trying to do just that with your help. We're interested to know uh, from the community uh, what we're doing well as it relates to our equity work. We're interested to know what we aren't doing as well. The district has already implemented an equity plan. We have a six-point equity plan, and it's really, it really takes a look at uh, leadership and closing the achievement gap and uh, diversifying our workforce. Uh, reducing suspensions and expulsions. But they say it won't hurt to find out what people think about it so far. So on Tuesday night, the African American Museum will be open to people willing to voice their opinions and discuss changes that could be made. This is more of an open-ended conversation about what we really want for our community as it relates to um, support for diversity and cultural consciousness. And creating brave space to really go deep and have those conversations that may not be comfortable, but that's okay because we grow in disequilibrium. We don't grow in our comfort zones. One of the things that we have to make certain that we do is maintain um, equity and, and professional development. The next steps would be take that information and continue to use it to guide uh, the equity that work that's underway. For a more hands-on approach, the district is looking for people to serve on a task force. We'll have all that information and details on our website. Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.